Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make these velvet scrunchies. And these are super, super easy to make. The trick to these is getting the right size rubber band, using the right size hook with the right size yarn, and that's it. You can make these. I've never made anything that my daughter just went cuckoo for, that I couldn't get it out fast enough. I made these, she sent pictures and her friends, her two best friends wanted some, so I had to make her want them one of uh, three colors, which were these three colors, because I uh, only could make one gold one because I made myself a scarf, one of those uh, double weave, double crochet weave scarves. I love it. And it's velvet, it's soft. And she's like, rip it out. I'm like, no, I'm not ripping it out. <laughs> so. There's only one gold and she, I guess she took the blue, the teal one today to school, so I can't show you that one. Uh, but I, I hope I have pictures of all that and I'll share pictures and stuff. But I want to tell you a little bit about this yarn. Let me show you on a lighter color, so let me show you on this one. This yarn is one of those chunky, it's called uh, the velvet kind of yarn, it's really soft. I made uh, the Glover Stitch afghan out of this kind of yarn but this is a new line that they have which has got like glitter and stuff inside of it on I don't know if you can really see it on camera but it's got this glitter inside of it which just makes these scrunchies really pop and they got these really awesome uh, color ranges than they've ever had before at least at my yarn store and they they make these really soft but really cool looking scrunchies so Go ahead and you're, oh wait, I guess I need to tell you, not just the yarn, which is this chunky, bulky yarn, but you're also going to need a six millimeter hook. And you're also going to need, um, I'll show you the kind of rubber bands that uh, I'm working with. So I'm going to try to do this on my desk just because it's brighter. I don't want to do black on black, black pillow. Uh, these don't seem too much of a difference. I actually managed to find one more medium one. <laughs> we scoured the house and I thought I'd used them all to make her friends theirs. But I actually found one that I think I can use. I use this medium size one. They have smaller ones even than this. And those are just too small for this kind of yarn. And these are just too big. So I try to get like the in-between size, the medium size. And this is like can see it unrolls it's it's like it's like stretchy yarn I, I saw them sell this in the store once a long time ago it's basically just uh, elastic yarn it has a piece of elastic worked all the way through it and it adds really good strength and it stretches out but it never breaks and that's what you want when you're going to put so much money and time and effort to making a handmade scrunchie you want to make sure that's not going to break on you then the whole thing is useless so I recommend getting the medium size in between. Don't get the big, don't get the tiny. So grab one of those. Grab your six millimeter hook, which is a size J hook for the US. And get your velvet chunky yarn and we'll get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, this lighter color just because it's easier to see on camera. And I start my slip knot just a little bit. I'll leave a little bit of tail there because you're going to have a tail. So you might as well leave a little bit enough to work over so you can hide it a bit. So you make your slip knot as usual. And then you're going to pick up your rubber band and insert your hook into the center of the rubber band. And then you're going to grab up some of that puffy yarn. Don't pull it through the loop though. You want to yarn over it and pull it through both loops to make your first single crochet. That's how you attach onto the rubber band. Now what I do is I grab my tail and now I'm going to work, sorry, my nose itches. So now I'm going to work over my tail. So again, I'm going to insert my hook through the rubber band, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. And you want to continue to do that and keep working over your tail. I like to do this till I have 24 to 28 single crochets. How long it takes me, uh, I mean, however many it takes me to fill to cover the rubber band. I think the first time I did 28 
which was on this one and it's uh, it's pretty full when I went down to 24 it just four less it seemed to work a lot more so I'm gonna try to aim for doing 24 single crochets worked onto this rubber band using my six millimeter hook here So I would say just keep single crocheting. You can pull it apart to kind of make sure it stays a little bit tighter here. You can see that these little little bits will come off. Let them, because once they come off, then they're done. My daughter doesn't have them keep coming off. And if they do, it's very minor, so only comes from the ends of the yarn. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So I need to find room for four more. 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, now I got my 24. Now make sure you find the correct very first stitch here and insert your hook and slip stitch in there. And now we're going to start row two. So chain two and in this same stitch that you just slip stitched into you're going to put two double crochets. That first chain two counts as your first double crochet. So you have three stitches in the first stitch. Now in the next single crochet and all the rest of the single crochets all the way around you want to put three double crochets in each stitch. I tried it with two and it did make it bigger and fluffier but it didn't make it uh, look as good as when I put three double crochets so I went back and I put another one in all of them. It looked really good. I ended up having to do this one twice. So this one has uh, three in each stitch, just like the rest. But it's a little bit more bulky because I started with a little bit more single crochets, so you got to keep that in mind. About 24 seems to be the ticket when it comes to this uh, bulky, super chunky yarn. And three double crochets in each one of those 24 stitches seems to look the best. So continue and put three single crochets all the way around in each stitch and I'll see you when you get up here to the end and I'll show you how to finish your scrunchie. Okay, so I just put my last three double crochets in my very last stitch here and I'm just going to find my very first double crochet to slip stitch into. Then I cut it leaving a little bit of a tail. Then watch what happens when you pull it through. Oh, you couldn't see it, it's kind of, but usually there's like a puff that comes out and it, all this stuff will fall. You have a little bit of fuzz problem when you're dealing with the ends, but once it's together, it's not an issue at all. Okay, what I usually do to hide this last tail is I've been going in through some of my stitches here along the, let me get a little closer here, along the band here, and then I will go in through the chain here at the beginning at least one time and then I'll bring my tail through that stitch and then bring it down into my scrunchie and then I'll come from the other side of the place where I started and do the same thing go through a few stitches go through a few stitches except for that very last one that's sticking out from because you don't want to bring it back through what you've already done. Just undo what you've done. And then pull it through all those stitches. Then I pull it, tug it. You don't want this tail to be extremely long here in the end because when you do pull it, it will come up like this. So you really don't want it to be too long. And I cut it right at the end. Oops. 
Oh, I guess you can see the sparkles in this really good when I get close up like that. It's so soft. This is really amazing stuff. I guess I should tell you a little bit more about this yarn. But that is how you make the scrunchie here. If you're interested in this kind of yarn that I have here, I got this in Israel, so I don't know. And it's made, it's designed in Italy. But I'm pretty sure you can find puff yarn like this. But it's called Etrophil Hand Knitting Yarns uh, Cimarana. And I have uh, some of the, the color and the lot number. And I'll put all that in the on the pattern page if you do if you are interested in this yarn so that you can find out um, maybe how to get some of your own off eBay or something but in all countries I'm pretty sure they have some really cool looking puff yarn you can use I'm oh, sorry velvet yarn velvet chunky yarn is what this stuff is so that's it guys I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please don't forget to click like and share it helps me out so much also if you always want to be notified whenever I release something new you can go to my main YouTube page and hit that little bell button beside the subscribe button and choose all notifications so you will never miss anything that comes out on my channel. Also I have a couple of groups on Facebook. There's a private group called Crochet for the Masses and then there's a public group called Crochet Zone Public and you can go there and subscribe, be part of the crochet community there. Also if you're on Pinterest I have Melidor's Creations Community free crochet links posted by not just myself by other designers as well also you can check out my newsletter I have a newsletter now if you want to be notified whenever I release something new on my channel or if I have any news uh, on my site or anything that is the the number one place to go to at least be updated on what's new happening to the site so that's it guys uh, thank you so very much for watching Thank you.